Odukoya, right God's here. God's general. Yes, right here in Fountain of Life Church, Lukweju, Lagos, Nigeria. You can already hear the music behind us, and that's coming from the choir. I think they're rehearsing because the service starts at 11 this morning, wherever you are watching from. Service starts at 11. But you know how we fountainers are, we're always on time. If you are in church already, you'll see that, you know, pews are filling up with people. Outside, the car park is already full. There's so much anticipation for today, which is just, you know, it's people coming here with all sorts of emotions. People, you know, wanting to celebrate Pastor Taiwo. Yeah, people also coming to mourn him. People, people who just can't believe that, you know, this has really happened. Interestingly, you need to see, when I came in here earlier today, the, the number of people that were actually outside because um, they were trying to prepare the church for the service proper. But people were, were thrown into church trying to just get to be in this funeral service. Yeah. It speaks to one thing in particular the impact um, of, of the God's gesture in the lives of thousands. People that were privileged to, to serve under him or him to mentor or pastor, and having them here, like you said, you need to see thousands already in church ready yeah. for the service. I'm sure in the next couple of hours, the overflow will be filled as well. Yeah, and you know, if you really didn't know what's happening here today, you think it was a wedding that was actually taking place because very unlike, you know, a funeral service for, you know, someone of this caliber, someone of Pastor Taiwo, person of Pastor Taiwo, you would actually think that, you know, this was a wedding you were coming to because people are, people are gaily dressed, people are just here to celebrate his life and, and it, that's one thing, one of the themes I love about, you know, the service of songs yesterday, it was that people just came to celebrate his life came to celebrate the man himself and they spoke about you know personal stories you know how um you know he related with them you know people talked about years that they had spent with him you know how you know he had touched their lives and if you ask everyone in front of that church Pastor Taiwo has spoke even to me Pastor Taiwo has touched everybody's life and it is incredible I mean I went through something this year and this was just before you know months before Pastor passed I don't know where he got the strength, first of all, to encourage me through it, to see me through what it was. It is, the man himself is amazing, honestly. Some people will say he's an enigma, but no, I will say that he's got the spirit of God in him. And if you listen to some of his sermons, even before he passed, it was about, look, it's not about me. I'm leaving you to the hands of the Holy Spirit. And he preached about that consistently the past one year. Now, the first event for this this whole passage, the rites for this passage was yesterday with the service of song. Right. And listening to some people testify to the humility of Pastor Taiwan, how that has really catapulted him into homes that only you can imagine and to men of timber and caliber of their society by virtue of his humility, his ability to understand his spirit. You know, he can pass the comfort. Even when he's talking to you, he's divinity. Some people say, it's not divinity. It's not that small. But he's a big man. But with his spirit. I think that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. Because he, he approaches everything from this perspective of the Holy Spirit. And that is dear God to thousands of people. Do you know the types of people that Pastor was actually rolling with? I don't know about you, but I got an, you know, an insight into some of the people that Pastor had the opportunity to actually like, you know, rub shoulders with. We're talking about presidents. You remember when the vice president actually came to Fountain of Life Church? Uh, the former vice president, I should say, uh, Professor Yemi or Shibajo. Uh, even though we have his brother here, I mean, but the fact that you know Pastor was able to come here, he's had you know, opportunities to speak with people that, you know, we can only dream about. And these people knew him. They knew who he was, including my own boss, Mr. John Momo, even knew who Pastor Taiwo was, you know. You know, you know what the scripture said about, see thou a man who is diligent in his ways, yes. will not stand before me, me and me. Yeah. But of course, he will stand before King, and that's what typifies the the life and times of Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. Uh, is a man who allowed God to use him for his generation. And he has transcends generations even before him. And I'm sure 
the testimonials we heard yesterday and the one we're still going to hear in the next couple of days, um, even today, will, will testify to the personality and how God has used him into, we're talking about great men of God here, yes. and how he has left his footprint in the sands of time. And that for me is very significant, especially when um, a mere man allowed God to use him for his generation. That is Pastor Tao Odukoya. I, I don't know if you watched the service yesterday. Um, I, I couldn't make it to church, but I watched, you know, from home and I watched online. And I could tell from the faces of the ministers who were here, you know, people really didn't know what to expect. I mean, people who are not fountainers, they didn't know what to expect, you know, here in church yesterday. But I could, I could see a little bit of surprise, you know, on their faces. Like, are these people mourning? Aren't they supposed to be mourning? But here we were celebrating his life, you know, recalling stories about him. I remember the pastor, and this speaks to something that you mentioned, um, uh, Joshua, about, you know, the Holy Spirit. I remember the times the pastor reminded us, he always said, make the Holy Spirit your friend. You know, you don't need, he always said, I don't need to lay hands on anybody. Yes. I something know. that he always said, I don't need to lay hands on anybody. You, you all have the Spirit of God inside of you, was what he always said. You all have the Holy Spirit inside of you. So he, he's, he's, he's like, you know, encouraging us to be the people that we are supposed to be. Everybody, every one of us, he says, we all carry God. We all carry the Holy Spirit. We all carry, you know, and, and I, miss, I miss him always saying, you know, in the middle of his sermons, always saying, I can feel the fire. I feel the fire. I remember... You know, during those times, my pastor used to say, I feel the fire. I used to say to myself, I want to feel this fire one day. I honestly want to feel this fire one day. And I be truly believe that some people did feel the fire. I mean, especially those in the front seats. <laughs> I, did, I can, te I can testify fire. to that. Um, and it's, it's very significant because even when the first thing I posted personally on, on my social media platform was, uh, I feel the fire. Uh, and, and that for me, when I, when I joined the church uh, a decade ago, um, it was, I find it difficult to even hear pastor um, for months and I, told, yes. I share that with you. Yes. Uh, because the voice goes down so and it's got a baritone voice yes. and so I say, what is pastor saying now? But there was something that I and, and you had to buy the tapes after the service yes. so that exactly. you could really hear the sermon well. But I had to knuckle down because at every point in time, it's the fire that carries me through the service. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure millions of people watching us now can relate to that. It's the function of the spirit, when the spirit moves you, when the spirit, when you, when you connect with the, the power that a pastor has tapped into, mm -hmm. um, that, of course, will take you through the, the service. And that for me, so I'll wait for when pastor has moved to the next dimension and I'll just lock onto it. Uh, yeah. So, when I, but later on, I, I think I had to. I came to terms with the way pastors speak, and of course, when we moved to the new auditorium, the it sound was system was hear. better. <laughs> so, but the, the, the bottom line is, everyone here, and that is the reason why I, I, I don't know if the camera can pan to see what we are seeing at the moment. I'm talking about thousands of people yeah. red seated. Yeah. Coincidentally, um, there is a color that matches, and, and that is the green and white, uh, which we, all, we also represent here. Uh, we're talking to you. But it's, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful gathering right here in church. Um, and for those of you in diaspora watching online, um, I, I think we can, we can only explain it to you. Uh, but the experience here is totally, absolutely amazing. Yeah, and speaking of online, um, if you're watching us on YouTube, we welcome you to the funeral service of Pastor Taiwo. Daniel Odukoya, God's general, the senior pastor of the Fountain of Life Church, a church that I have been a member of for years, that we have been members of for years, had the opportunity, like millions of others, to have sat on the pastor's tutelage, have been mentored by him, have been taught by him, have experienced him. And perhaps you want to say a few words, you know, you're overwhelmed, you know, with emotions. And you want to say a few words to pastor or to just encourage the family. There's so many ways you can do that. You can go to, you know, the church's um, Instagram handle at TFOLC. You can also go to at Pastor Taiwo Odukoya. I believe that's also on Instagram. There's also a page on Facebook, the Fountain of Life Church on Facebook. You can 
you know express yourself there as well and if you're watching on youtube you can also you know join the live chat you know and also you know give your comments express you know your love for this man your love for the church you know and that's that's one thing that people worry about you know the church after you know, the i need to bring you up to speed as well with what transpired yesterday it was the service of song and of course, we had few testimonials. I'm sure it's going to continue today, even as we have the funeral service. The program today is very tight. And for you were talking about the fact that we started and we closed around nine yesterday. We did. Uh, I mean, it, it was like you couldn't stop fountaineers, or you couldn't yes. stop. People just wanted to just express themselves. And you know, where would they get this opportunity to? Not only in the church it, it, service. Interestingly, for some of you that are wondering who Pastor Taiwo Dukoye is, is a man that loves God, is a family man, he believes in the family, and of course, building the nation. He has mentored um, thousands, millions of people through his messages and the anointing of God over his life. And another thing that is, makes Pastor Taiwo Dukoye dynamic is his worship. Mm. Is his worship. He loves the hymns. Yes. And yesterday, listening to some of the hymns that uh, were being uh, rendered here yesterday, uh, I was transfixed actually because uh, I had to catch up online as well. Uh, yes, having having pastor even sing hymns, he's got his favorites as well when he sings. And some of those songs uh, have been performed here by the amazing uh, choir right here in, in, in church. What about uh, the Yoruba worship songs that Tolu reminded us of? Pa yeah. Sorry, Pastor Tolu yeah. Odukoya Ijogo reminded us of yesterday. You know, the family did showed up awesomely yesterday you know with the tributes to him his his brother pastor john i mean just gave us an insight into you know pastor's last days while he was in the u.s and and he spoke about you know how pastor Taiwo was courageous there was no fear in his eyes i remember him saying that there was no fear in his eyes you know as as you know he knew that you know his final hours were near. it was i i think i did i tell you uh, Joshua, that I actually feel that I actually feel that this was this was God all through, really. It's I don't know how to understand it. But I think your mind has been in a certain place to be able to understand that. I guess the amazing part is how the church has taken this, and it shows the kind of people Pastor Taiwo has groomed so far. Yeah. Uh, you, you need you need to see the the, the caliber of men and women Pastor has been able to to groom even spiritually and, and in all areas of endeavors of life, all walks of life, you find them here in Fountain of Life Church. And one of those things, those, those amazing, amazing messages for me from Pastor Taiwo is finding your purpose. So when you get to Fountain of Life Church, there, there's no way you'll be here and you, you won't find your bearing. Finding yeah. your bearing is one of the qualities of Pastor Taiwo. So you find men who are true to their calling and that is what we find in Fountain of Life Church. You find men performing extraordinary works in their chosen profession. Um, th there's no gain saying. And oftentimes you find them serving in church. Yeah. And that speaks to the humility of Pastor Taiwo and how he has been able to transfer that to some of the people that he's mentoring. And how, and how he portrays a person of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you've observed it. But it seems like for three years now, we have had the year of the Holy Spirit. It's been the year of the Holy Spirit. An emphasis on us walking with the person of the Holy Spirit, of understanding the person of the Holy Spirit, of spending time in His presence, spending time in God's presence. Pastor encourages us to, to know the Word of God for ourselves. I know we haven't quoted any scriptures this morning, <laughs> but um, we are encouraged to actually like... I, was that scripture that we had a year, a, 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 a difficult time trying to remember? I mean, it was almost like, I think it was two years ago, almost every Sunday, Pastor made us remember what, you know, the scripture for the year was. And it had something to do with, um, if my memory does not fail me at this time, and I hope it doesn't, Holy Spirit, help me to remember, um, about... Um, Joshua, I'm hoping you will help me here too. Um, I wish I could remember the year. <laughs> oh dear. No, no, no. It had something to do with um, when uh, being able to do every good work. No, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that. That was probably someone else. I guess we'll find it. It will uh, come to me. It will surely come to me. See, see, um, you see, the Bible says, let this word be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And having the word, 
at one point it was all about the supernatural. And pastor will always emphasize the supernatural. The supernatural. That's what I was trying to remember. And you have a situation where you will say, look, um, pastor, you say, I leave you into the hands of the Holy Spirit. And where uh, he will guide you into all things. That's what yeah. the scripture says. You have a situation where a pastor... It was like a foreknowledge, and, and that's and that's the thing. Uh, the thing about the Holy Spirit, uh, it's say it, it guided to all 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 truths, all truths. And you have a situation, when Pastor saw this like it was like say, preparing the church yeah. for for this moment in time. You have a situation where Pastor will say, uh, "It's been just look at the past four four five years. It's been about the supernatural. It's been yeah. about the year of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, you no, know, the year of the supernatural." find that uh, thematic um, uh, in, in virtually everything we do in church and that speaks to how he has led us consistently over the years into this particular position and you, you can't find people sulking or mourning no it's been yeah. a celebration of life more of as against having people say oh I will miss the pastor no but he has left you in the hands of the Holy Spirit what but, but that, it, that's the comforter the Holy Spirit, and what better person or what better uh, uh, person to leave you with than the Holy Spirit? You know, I think we're talking about pastors so much that I mean, it almost feels like any minute now he'll come in and say <laughs> you know, any minute he'll come in now you know, to the prophets and he will go, let us pray and pastor loved to pray, didn't he? Pastor Taiwo loved to pray he always said so many things can just be solved with a prayer. You know, he'll say, go into your closet. Go into your closet, pray. It's not just when you come to church that you pray. And you know, before every service starts, we would pray for the, the church. We would pray for the nation. We would pray for ourselves. We would pray for everyone around us. You know, that was, that was also one of the fulcrums of pastor's ministry. The ministry of prayer. And because he spent a lot of time in God's presence praying and seeking the face of God and everyone. It almost seemed like as if God was telling him everybody's secret. But, but, but I'm sure that was not what it was. God is not a no, God. Can reveal. Mm -hmm. reveal but God was revealing to things yes. to him. You it's, know. It's, for me, today is very significant, talking about uh, one of the significant um, rights we'll be having here today, um, moving forward to, to, to tomorrow for the Thanksgiving. But from the service of song yesterday, from the testimonials to today, and how people were waiting patiently for the commencement of the service, which is about to happen in the next couple of minutes. Um, but but this, this is not, this is typical fountain behavior, as far as I'm concerned. This is typical fountain behavior. I, I mean, see pockets of people at the overflow as well. I'm telling you, um, downstairs for, for, is almost full. Service. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's it is amazing. amazing. And people actually kept to the color code today, which is a touch of white and green, if, uh, which are the colors that we're wearing today, a touch of white and green. Joshua, it just occurred to me that I do not think that we introduced ourselves when we started. So people are wondering, who are these two people who are just yapping away and, on, on TV? Oh, sorry, online. <laughs> hey, I, I have to remember what on, 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 on TV. It depends on where you're watching. <laughs> Perhaps uh, you do the honors of... Well, in case you're wondering, we're, we're, first of all, we are Honorable Fountaineers. My name is Amarachi Ubani. I work with the Publications Department of the Church. And I am Joshua Barakio, uh, with the same department as well, Fountain mm. News. Uh, yeah, Fountain that. News. To I'm be sure we've come across your screen several times in the course of, of, the, of several years now. Yes. Um, your screen. Um, and it's also, also a pleasure to do this uh, to honor God's general. Um, here in church that uh, started um, almost three, three decades, over three decades ago. Yeah. Um, right here, uh, big now. Um, you speak to the, the vision that he birthed like in the 90s and how it has transformed uh, significantly to, to molding a, 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 a nation. Uh, I call it a nation, Fountainer nation, or nation of fountainers. Yes, because we all think I like. It's huge, and for me, it's significant that I'm part of this of this flock that are uh, doing well exploits for God and for the nation at large. Yeah, and it's a three-day celebration. Even though today says it's a funeral service, 
yesterday was a service of songs. Um, it was another celebration service because it was people remembering the man himself, remembering how he touched their lives, how he touched their ministries. One incredible, I was speaking to someone yesterday and I said, oh, there were fountain pastors from all over the world, representatives of fountain of, fount, of the Fountain of Life Church all over the world. And the person was like, do you guys have branches all over the world? I said, yes, we do. But the interesting thing is that pastor gave all of them autonomy. I mean, who does that? He's a man who is selfless. Yeah. And of course, he's... he's his personality uh, permits. Of course, perhaps let's just, just read some of the uh, the tributes to Pastor Taiwo um, yesterday. Uh, this one, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this together. Oh, okay. Uh, this is from um, uh, Discovery for Men uh, by Mr. Balogun. He said, yeah. acknowledge his sincere and genuine love for Christ and his uh, discovery and the discovery for men as well as the world at large, a grateful to God for the exemplary life um, he, he has given to, <laughs> to everyone. Yes, I know discovery for men is a very important mm. aspect of the, the church. Same for discovery for women. Is, women. I, I was coming to the discovery for women because, you know, the interesting thing was I actually started attending discovery for women before I even started attending Fountain of Life Church. It was the discovery for women program that drew me into Fountain of Life Church. But then Pastor Bim was around. Okay, this one is from the children. They said they spoke about life lessons learned from Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. He told them to become the best they can be. He was raising them to become men of substance and men of impact. That will be Jomoloju and Timile. Yes, and Timile. Uh -huh. and that's from them. Of course, Pastor Toby says she encouraged the church and chose not to mourn but celebrate Pastor Taiwo's life. She quoted 1 Corinthians 15 55. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? She also encouraged all. Um, to celebrate because we will, um, well, like those who mourn, like those who do not have hope. That's the you know, when she was talking yesterday, my mind went to you know, sometimes I, I, I wonder about some of these things. When people die, like I wonder, do they, do they like follow the events after you know their death? Does Pastor know that we're celebrating him today? Does he know that? And it just occurred to me that. He's lost track of time because there is time does not exist where he is anymore. And for all we know, Pastor Taiwo is doing what he loves to do best, which is worship, worshiping in the presence of God, worshiping in the presence of Jesus. He, Pastor Bim, Pastor Norm, and all the saints that have gone ahead of us, they're all worshiping in front, of, you know, in God's presence and just enjoying his presence. They don't even they don't want to know what's going on down here. Definitely. Unless Pastor Jimmy said he charged the church to stand strong. No matter the circumstances, no matter the challenge, uh, we should hold on to Jesus Christ, who is our uh, anchor. I, re I remember Pastor Jimmy saying, a lion does not give birth to a goat. <laughs> you know, I remember that part and I was like, yes, I was shot from where I was and I was, I was you know, really cheering him on. Okay, um, uh, because we, we signaled that the service will commence in, in a few minutes. But of course, um, talking about the tribute from Pastor Tolu, that's... Uh, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya's daughter. Uh, she encouraged child. the church through worship. We are to keep worshiping God because Pastor Taiwo would have been doing that right now. She did this worshiping with Pastor's favorite songs. And Pastor's she got did. Some, some favorite songs. And there were Yoruba songs. songs, Yoruba worship songs. Unfortunately, I, my Yoruba is not that fantastic. I couldn't follow you know, so well. But the ones but that I knew, it's you know, music. I joined. Music is universal. Yeah. Am I achieve? Apart. Oh, no, 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 no. Seriously, my hands were up in the air and I was worshipping God. I didn't know the lyrics, I, I didn't you know, know about, about yeah, you know how you <laughs> sing when, you know, you don't remember the lyrics, you know, and all that. So okay. that's, that's what I was This doing. one is from uh, Brother Bolaji Akiyemi, representing the heads of the department. He acknowledged he was a teacher who followed Christ and led others to Christ. Pastor was a man with foresight and trained leaders. That I can tell you about Pastor Taiwo yes. who were not qualified. He was meek and voiced authority lightly. How do you do that? That's a combination of power and of course humility to, to extreme strength. Uh, I don't strength. Know. It is, that, that shows a man who knows his worth. This tribute actually captured the personality of Pastor Daniel Taiwo Dukoya and how he has led so many men oh, we, and women uh, Sorry, go on. <laughs> in, 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 their, in their path of 
yeah. a part of Christianhood and of course even in their careers because pastor do not only help you spiritually yes. he also builds you and he has built men that yeah. I can tell and I know that some, some of the people who spoke yesterday said it seemed like pastor was able to see into people's future you know he called pastor um, uh, Ibukun Awoshika you know when she gave her own tribute she said Pastor called her and told her that she would she would lead the business fellowship or something. And as at that time, you know, her business was still small and she didn't even have any experience and she was thinking to herself, like, how how was this possible? By me, it was like Pastor was seeing, I don't know, maybe he was prophesying to people, I don't know, but it's it, it seemed like he was seeing he he spoke to the giant in people. He spoke to, you know, the people that they were supposed to be. He was speaking to their futures. You know, and inspire them to go on to do the things that they did. I don't know if I shared my experience with you. The, the last time I had an good encounter morning. with Hello. Pastor. Um, Hello, good morning. Okay. Okay. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's a signal the, that we're about to start. Thank you very much. Very okay. Um, all the pastors, perhaps we should as would well. like to be part of the guard of honor. Please, we need you to come out right now. The guard of honor will start from here all the way to the back. One, uh, a pastor on each side. All the pastors that have indicated to be part of the guard of honor, please, let's come out to the middle aisle, to the middle aisle, where we have the beige rug. It's starting from here all the way to the entrance of the church. Thank you very much. Because... Thank you.
Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Please let's be upstanding for the opening prayers. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you because it is indeed the day that you have made and we have rejoiced and will continue to rejoice in it. Thank you, Almighty God, for the life of your dear Son as we begin this service to the glory of God. Almighty God, we commit everything into your able hand. We ask that you direct in the name of Jesus. We ask that you guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Almighty God, that everything be done decently and in order in the mighty name of Jesus. Above all things, we ask that the name of Jesus will be glorified. We thank you and we bless you. We honor you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. The professional hymn.
the ground is body lay light of the world by darkness Up our hands in worship to Jehovah God. We worship you, Jesus. Lift up your hands to God, the Almighty God, the Maker of all things. We bless you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We lift you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Even here this morning, we exalt you, Jesus. Can somebody scream, Hallelujah! We will not be silent. 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 My Elabosh. My Elabosh. My Elabosh. 
we are not in doubt as to where our pastor is. We are not in doubt as to where our pastor is. He is with his maker, receiving his crowns. Somebody help me praise God. Somebody help me praise God. Even now we bless his holy name. You are not praising God like I want you to. Somebody help me praise this God. Somebody help me praise this God. Can I have a louder, louder hallelujah? We celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate our God. Somebody praises God. Praises God. 
praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. There's going to be a Bible reading by pastor's children, Timmy Lane and Johnny Loju. They're going to take the first Bible reading. Encourage them. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible reading is taken from Psalm 46, verses 1 to 11, and it reads, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, the mountains shake with the swelling thereof cellar. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. And verse 6 says, The heathen reached, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He makes wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. May the Lord bless his reading of his word. Yes. Bless. Hallelujah. Please encourage them as they go back to their seat. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. We have a poem an ode to Pastor Taiwo Dukoya is going to be rendered by her sister, Sister Yewande Zakios. Good morning, our fathers and mothers. Good morning, church. This poem was written by my brother, Akinka Akinola, and I have the privilege of reading it on the request of pastor's children. It is titled, An Ode to Pastor Taiwo. The battle is over. The victor's cross is won. The last trumpet sounded for God's true son. Leader, shepherd, mentor, and guide walking with his children side by side. Humility's heart and passion's pride, a man in whom all could confide. Boundless energy, limitless love, all in service of his God above. Of hallelujahs and amens, praises and thanks, leading by example, he swelled our ranks. For Apostle John, a man in whom there is no guile, he must have known you through the spiritual eye. I feel the fire in animated gesticulation. His very being alive, the spirit's manifestation. He always said, God has given us all gifts. In our little way, others to lift. I therefore choose the written word, infused albeit by the spirit's sword, that by this gift I may proclaim 
a man who had no interest in fame. In early days, he heard the call. Reluctant, he told us, just like Paul. At the height of his profession, the master's voice, now an irresistible heavenly noise. Founder, rock of the fountain of life, a shared root of your departed wife. It all started from a rented hall. The journey's been long, but I'll say it all. Then we progressed and we bought our own property, thinking we had reached the heights of prosperity. But our father owns the cattle and the gold, so even that building soon became old. Eventually, the vision, a befitting edifice, fountain auditorium complete with offices. But you are no longer here with your wit and charm. May your vision not come to harm. Who can your bright white smile forget? Rubbing hands together, zeal and zest. Leaping and dancing, divine acrobatics. Straight from your heart, not theater or tactics. In descriptive prose that capture your essence. Still yet, sir, nothing quite like your presence. If only a fraction of us could speak, our testimony will eclipse the mountain peak. Marriages you have healed, almost broken. Children you have counseled, almost forsaken. He led us men in huddled fellowship, our souls prior in spiritual receivership. But with infectious passion and passing no judgment, we embrace the gospel, both Old and New Testament. Of humble beginnings, he would always say, the luxuries of life he had not, nay. Through dint of hard work and quiet focus, just like Christ, our allocutus. The trials of life we can't comprehend. We see through glass darkly till we meet our end. The first time we wondered, why, Lord, oh why? He told us to stand. Children, don't cry. The second time we grieved a pain so deep. He told us, I say stand, don't weep. Now who is to comfort us in this bewilderment? Our mentor and guide beyond the firmament. But still yet he speaks, if truly he was our teacher. For he always said, we are all God's creatures. Loud and clear, deep, vibrant baritone. Do your best before you are called to go home. There are things that threaten even great men's faith, like the laying of a sudden and premature wreath. The scriptures ask, death, where is thy sting? But a joyful song is very hard to sing. To say we are not bowed is to tell a lie. To say we are broken, God forbid, from on high. We soldier on in confident trepidation, though unsure of the certainty of this dislocation. In all this, though, we hold on to one lesson. You taught us always, I am only one person. Men will come and men will go, no matter how much they shine and glow. For you, the final bell has knelled. We bid you, sir, fare thee well. The common end for all of flesh. There is no second earthly refresh. It's time to say the final good night until we see you one day in glorious light. You've traveled the valley and fear is no more. You are on Jerusalem's verdant, peaceful shore. In your father's house, there are many mansions. Reserved for you is one for his champions. But as long as we live in this body corruptible, our emotions and minds are highly susceptible. So with rigid frame, but a melted heart, tear-drenched eyes, because we are apart, we must acknowledge this massive void with emotional control like Sigmund Freud. Pastor, father, brother, and friend, we will remember you to the very end. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Iwendi Zakios. Now we're going to be privileged to watch a video that is titled, Our General Has Gone Home. Thereafter, the choir will come on and take and the glory and then a congregational hymn. Thank you. 
Pastor Daniel Taiwo Udukoya, the mighty man of war, had his weapons, but they were not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that dared to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. By speaking the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, Pastor Taiwo depopulated hell and the kingdoms of iniquity by calling the souls of men out of darkness into the kingdom of God's marvelous light. In the name of Jesus, the name above all names, disgraced ignorance and cast away fear. He put so many on the precipice of death and destruction from the brink and gave them the chance to take that decision to turn their lives around and have the life of Christ, which is eternal and more abundant. He spoke the word of God, for the Lord had made his tongue even as the pen of a ready writer, and by the speaking thereof, he broke every chain and set the captives free. By the demonstration of the Spirit and the power of the living God in his preaching, by the miracles that followed and the testimonies that confirmed them, by the submission of his life to God and the total obedience to his calling, Pastor Taiwo shined the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ into the darkness of this world. Because of the life of Pastor Taiwo, multitudes in the Valley of Decision have become the disciples of Jesus Christ, having received the promised salvation and have been made citizens of the Kingdom of Heaven. They in turn have gone forth into the world with zeal and power to make disciples of men, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, demonstrating their God-given authority over sickness, over devils, over poverty, and over fear, and all the works of the devil. As it is written, for this reason was the Son of God made manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And we rejoice, because our Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, God's General, finished well. And because he finished well, there are multitudes of men, women, and children converted by the words he spoke and the life he lived, going forth to fulfill the scripture that says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. For the scripture cannot be broken.
Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. The second Bible reading for this service is going to be taken by another of pastor's children, Pastor Mrs. Toby Enoha. Good afternoon, church. The second Bible reading is from Isaiah 25, verses 8 and 9 in the New King James Version. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth, and for the Lord has spoken. And it will be said in that day, behold, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Holy, 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 holy,
to the name of the Lord. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Oh, forever, amen. For thine is the kingdom and the power and all the glory forever yeah. and the power and the glory go And we give him all the glory And we give him all the 
put those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may please be seated. Just before we have the next Bible reading, I did make a slight error when I introduced the last Bible reading speaker. I addressed you to be as Mrs. But she is indeed Dr. Mrs. Toby Enoa. Our pastor was so very proud. He spent good money. And she did us all proud. Thank you very much, Dr. Mrs. Toby Enoa. The next Bible reading is going to be taken by yet another of pastor's children. This one needs no introduction. But I will try. Pastor. Star. <laughs> Jimmy Odukoya. To take the next Bible reading. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, Daddy and Mommy. The pastors, distinguished guests, church. Thank you so much for being here. The Bible reading shall be taken from Romans 8, 35, 37 to 39. And it reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen.
Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for this wonderful choir. The choir of the Fountain of Life Church, in case you do not know, are called the Grace Levites. And they are the best choir this side of heaven. Please put it together for them. All our fathers in the faith, please don't be jealous. This is the only thing we have that is the best in the whole world. The Grace Levites. Hallelujah. And our instrumentalists are called the Grace Band. And they are second to none this side of heaven. Hallelujah. We're going to go into a short period of worship that is going to be led by one of Pastor's Fruits an international song string. Her name is Oluchi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you all the praise, Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified.
for this service and it's going to be taken by pastor's first child. <laughs> Pastor, Mrs. Wait now, wait, wait, wait. I'm still coming. Sit down. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to introduce her specially because she's a song, song stress or song. You know what I mean, Sha. She's a soloist. She's a psalmist. She's just plenty. <laughs> Pastor Mrs. Tolu Ijogu. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, daddy. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. The last Bible reading will be taken from John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. My little bush. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Tolu. We're going to be going into the word for today. Just before that, I'll have the choir just give us uh, one worship song, but I'm going to introduce the speaker just before you do that. Church, please help me welcome the man that God has prepared to give us the word today. Bishop David Abuye of the Winners Chapel. Thank you, sir. He will come up as the choir does one worship song. Pray, Jesus, pray. My
Pastor, let us lift up our hands if you can. Give glory to God. If you can, raise your voice a little louder. Just give him the glory due to him. It's a day of celebration. A day of celebration of life. Give him the glory, everybody. Somebody rejoice in the Lord. What a day. What a blessing. What a glory. God's presence is mightily here. Let's honor him. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, reign, Jesus, reign. Everybody sing. Let's get to Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this blessed moment in the celebration of life of your servant, co laborer father, pastor, and all the positions he occupied while he was here with us. We give you all the glory for his life in the name of Jesus. And now, O oh Lord, bless us with your word. Strengthen our hearts. Comfort our souls. Give us hope for tomorrow. Let all these and many more blessings be our portion this morning. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Please get seated. Get excited, everybody. If you can, a big shout to the Lord. And a clap unto him as well. Amen. I want to specially count it a privilege this morning before God and before our spiritual father, a great leader of repute across the globe and the person of Bishop Mike Okonkwo and our very dear mother, He has had the assignment given to him by God to oversee our co-laborer, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya, and the Fountain of Life Church. I want to thank God for how he has stood very firm and strong in encouraging the church. Sir, we feel very proud and we appreciate your leadership. By privilege also, he directed me to be here to share God's word with us this morning, and that I don't take lightly. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Seated here also this morning, another general, wonderful leader, and 
a mentor to many. In the person of Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, we acknowledge your presence. Please permit me to stop at this point um, because I know at some point we'll be having introductions of other dignitaries that are here with us this morning. But before I round it up, I'd like to bring very special goodwill, words of consolation and strength from my spiritual father, the president of Living Faith Church Worldwide, in the person of Bishop David Oepo and his wife, who also endorsed my being here this morning on his behalf. May the church be blessed. Amen. Say loud amen. amen. To the wonderful children of our pastor who just passed on to glory, the Lord will keep you. Amen. He is the keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumber. He will keep all of you. Amen. All family members, the Lord will keep you. Amen. And for the church, no fear, no shaking. Because the church belongs to Jesus. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. God can't be building and the gate of hell will rear his head. What more? God only used his servant, Pastor Tai Dukoya. I say this with all respect to him, to found the church. Jesus, the builder, is still awake. And whatsoever he does shall be forever. So this church shall be forever. Oh, I thought somebody saying a loud amen there. I said, this church, as it is with other churches, shall be forever standing strong. Watch it, church. Fresh oil is coming on this church. Fresh grace is coming on this church. Pastor Taiwo finished his work and he left. But the work continues. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. This church will never know a better yesterday. Another big hand for Jesus. Amen. Now, just as every journey has a start, it also has an end. The starting point of life is birth. That's why we talk about birthday. And the ending point is death. Of course, I don't hear people say death day. But it is real. It's a day. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 2, there is time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. No one can escape it. Ecclesiastes is also chapter 7, verses 1 to 4. You wonder why Solomon said this much. He was in pleasure, affluence, but he realized that one day he had to live. A good name is better than precious men, and the day of death is better than the day of one's birth. When one is born, we smile and laugh. When he dies, we cry. Yet the scripture says, the day of death is better than the day of birth. Just like in academic circles, the day of graduation is better than the day of matriculation. Why? Because within the period, so much has been achieved. Came in fresher, now living as graduate. And that's what Pastor Taiwo has experienced. He was matriculated into life. Now he is graduated in glory. Amen. Oh, I thought somebody is excited that he graduated. In line with what Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 5, he said, I'm about to give up. Now I can see something waiting for me. From verse 6, please. I'm already being poured out 
as a drink offering, I'm about to evaporate from this world. And the time of my departure is at hand. But the good news is this. I have fought a good fight. I can picture Pastor Taiwo as I'm speaking right now. With a smile, nodding his head. That I'm saying this. I have finished my race. Because every start of race has an end. I have kept the faith. Did he keep the faith or not? May you also keep the faith. And in verse 8, I have, he said, finally, there's laid for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous one, will deliver to me that day. This is important because all of us seated there, let no man think that you will extend your time when it comes. Whether you die young or you die old, Death is an appointment you have to keep. For it is given unto man. It's appointed unto man to die only once. And after that, the judgment. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 8. Makes it very clear. That when your time comes, it doesn't require your view. There is no negotiator with death. Because when it comes, it will dominate you and give you no a chance to negotiate. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 8. No matter how rich you are, no matter how much treasures you have, no one has power over the spirit to retain the spirit. And no one has power in the day of death. No one has the power. What we do when the time comes is to submit ourselves of course before then you prepare your home prepare your work because there will be no return it's a journey of no return there is no probability in death it is certain it is not if it is when we are all on the line just waiting for your turn but not just your turn but your turn at good old age Somebody saying the loud amen to that. Yeah. So we have a space of time that we live, and that's what we call our lifespan. Lifespan. Which we have to be sensitive to be able to maximize. In Psalm 90, verse 12, David prayed a tremendous prayer there. So teach us. To program our days. Not just counting the number. But making the number to count. Teach us to program. To plan. To strategize. To put in more. To invest into our days. That we may gain a heart of wisdom. The big question to all of us this morning is. How wisely are you living? If you are not wise, you are a fool. No third option. If you are wise, you will be thoughtful. You will be investing. You will be advising yourself. I tell people, especially young people, who procrastinate, who say there is time. Begin to tell yourself, I am behind time. I am already behind time. That motivates you to work hard. And that's what Pastor Taiwo did. He planned as if he would live forever. But he worked as if he would not see tomorrow. That's where the wisdom comes in. You don't leave your life to chances. Teach us to plan, to program. Our wonderful fathers in the faith are here today leaving legacies behind. If they were not planning, strategizing, hard working, we will not be here respecting them today. Every one of us should pick lessons from here today. How wisely am I doing 
with my time, with my days. I've talked about lifespan. But you see, I want us to also see life beyond your lifespan in two different ways. One, when you are gone, what happens? And when you get to eternity, which is the ultimate destination of your journey, what happens to you there? There are lives that speak after death. Not all who died, died. They still live. We see their fingerprints. We see their footprints. We see things about them that we cannot forget. And so, as scriptures reveals, there are three things I want to quickly show to us before our time expires, which will continue to bring the memory of Pastor Taiwo to us. And I'd like you to please follow. Because we are here today not just being sober about the incidents, but learning from the incidents. Eyes that look are common. Hearts that see are few. Hears that hear are common. But hears that perceive are few. Make your eyes this morning a sin eye. Go home from here with lessons. He has finished his work. He's gone home. But he left lessons for us to learn. The body is going back to the dust. According to Genesis 2, 7, 3, 19. Dust to dust. The spirit, which is eternal, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, is gone to the one who gave it. The soul still relates around with us here. Now, the scripture recognizes three things that a man can be remembered for. Number one, his, his name. The name. The name. And I want you to begin to ask yourself questions this morning. What name am I leaving behind? The name of man represents honor and respect. There are names you hear today, everybody stands up, even though he's not there. The name of a person represents his personality, his recognition. That's why the scripture describes the name is as ointment. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1, we made reference to that earlier. A good name is better than precious ointment. A good name. A good name. And a bad name stinks. A good name smells odor. Now, please, let's look at this. I reasoned some times ago, there are great names around the globe who have died. Great musicians, great artists, great sportsmen. But for lack of good character, I've not had people name their children after them. Name is vital. But there are people who you wish you could have more children and give them the name of such individual. Because it's a good name. You either have a good name or a bad name. Sons of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. His name is as ointment poured forth. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1. The name. A good name. A good name. A good name. The name of a bad man rots according to scripture. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Love and favor than any other thing in life. If you came from a home that values name, they tell you as you are going out, don't spoil the name of the family. Don't spoil the name of the family. Number two thing, we will always remember 
based on scriptures concerning Pastor Taiwo is character. Character. The character he exhibited. Morality, decency, modesty, financial integrity, good public image, not orchestrated by any image, but by genuineness of lifestyle. Today, people have replaced character with other measures. They paint themselves the way they want the world to see them. They do makeup. Wonderful mothers and sisters here this morning. The best time to know you is at night. <laughs> when the makeup is washed up. That's when your character shows. That's when your true picture is revealed. Not in the morning, going to work. You have treated all the contours that makes you look younger. That's what we call reputation. Reputation may be damaged, but character cannot. Because character cannot die. Character is a person. Reputation is a, an image. Pastor Taiwo... Odukoya, we saw him in his character, in his true image. Even when he was challenged, even though behaved as woman, but never allowed the character of Jesus in him to go down. The integrity of the upright shall uphold him. Psalm 26 verse 11, Proverbs chapter 20 verse 7, the character of a man. This can be summarized in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, which unfortunately the church of Jesus is putting at the background today and projecting self image and reputation. Love, joy, peace, long suffering when you have been challenged, kindness to all, goodness, faithfulness in the services you are rendering. To God and to mankind, gentleness, self-control. And when you do that, no law can work against you. How many of us can see the picture of Pastor Tai right now in this scripture? That's how he lived his life. Number three thing you'll be remembered for, which he will be remembered for, is the works, the works done, the virtues impacted. Revelation chapter 14, verse 13. Blessed are those who die in the law, for their works will keep speaking after them. Works. Works. That's why I said earlier, not who die, not all who die are actually dead and forgotten. The works left behind. Those who live to self have limited themselves. But those who live for others live forever. They live forever. The greatest investment you make in life is in people. Your car cannot testify of you. Your house cannot write your biography. It is people whom you touch, people whom you impacted, who will keep telling your story in generations to come. It's not the fame. Listen to me. It's not your name on the street. Jesus' name was not on any street, but his impact is all over the globe. Jesus had no national honor to the extent that he was publicly crucified. But people can't forget the impact he made in their lives. Please think people. In the poem read to us this morning, we saw the picture of Pastor Taiwo thinking of people, helping drug addicts, helping families, helping young people. How do you think they will forget him? And you know, your works will always bring back your face to people. Your works will always bring back your memory. That's why it's a, the memory of the just cannot be forgotten. 
And that's why, even though Pastor Taiwa has left us, his influence cannot leave us. Which is the reason why virtually everybody was here this morning from far and near. Some of you left your business. On what account? He influenced your life. He impacted you. Influence don't die. Influence don't die. And influence is a function of impact. The cost price of influence is impact. You may not have a good face, but make impact. And people will color your face as beautiful as they can. They will. Impact. Impact makes you relevant even after your death. Again, influence don't die. Jesus' body was laid in the grave after 33 years, but his influence is speaking into millennia till today. Don't forget your name, your character, your works, your influence, your impact. The great sage of the gospel of the 21st century, Dr. Billy Graham was once asked, what will you think are the three important, most important things to you? He said, number one, character. Number two, character. Number three, character. If you lose money, you have lost nothing. If you lose your health, you have lost something. But if you lose your character, you have lost everything. Take away character. What remains is carcass. What remains is carcass. Take away character. Do you know character is so important that even thieves who stole money want to hire an accountant who has character. <laughs> so character will always open doors to you. You lose nothing having good character. For righteousness exalts, but sin is a reproach. Look beautiful. Have plenty of money. They say, Ole. Because that's how you are. That's who you are. No matter how much you decorate yourself. In closing this morning, let's think of the ultimate destination. There is a place called beyond. After your lifespan, there is somewhere you are going to which is called eternity. Eternity. That's where Pastor Taiwo is now. That's where no one of us should plan to miss. Eternity. Eternity. How do you assess eternity? Going back home to your father, where you came from. Number one, you must be born again. No alternative. You must. Nicodemus, highly learned. Jesus said to him, thank you for your accolade. But you must be born again. You must, no alternative. You must be born again. The key to eternity is new birth. You don't have it? I don't mean to use any harsh word, but you are going to eternal damnation. That's what Jesus said. That's what the scripture says. You either surrender to Jesus or you go to eternal damnation. Whatever you are this morning, please think about it. Soon, you'll be in a coffin. Soon, they will not take you back to your bedroom. Soon, your car will be lying fallow. Soon, you won't find anybody opening any door for you again. It will happen. It's only a matter of time. Think about your life. Where will you spend eternity? As I'm speaking right now, my spirit, the spirit of God is telling me somebody is here. Who needs to make that decision? You need to make the decision. The wine you used to drink. The man or the woman you used to carry. One day they won't move close to you again. I have not seen any living kissing the death. Where will you spend eternity? Number two, have a testimony of working with God. Develop closer relationship with God. That's why Ecclesiastes said, it is better to go to the house of mourning than the house of celebration. He said, because your heart will draw close that your time is coming. You are getting closer. One day after another, you are getting closer. You are getting closer. 
Getting closer. Make your decisions very fast. Draw close to God. Because if you don't draw close to him today, you will still meet him one day, but not in the closer range again. Enoch walked with God, and he was taken. He was taken. Well, I want to pray. The Spirit of God tells me I must pray for someone here this morning who will make a decision. Never late to make that decision. Pastor Taiwo is with Jesus not because he was a pastor but because he gave his life to Jesus. Salvation is more important than ministry. Destiny is more important than any calling. You are first saved before you are called. Called to salvation before called to ministry. I tell people I would rather be off ministry and not miss heaven. I want to be there. I want to be where Pastor Taiwo is right now. I love his smile. I want to meet it again. Which represents the smile of Jesus. If you are here this morning and you are not born again, permit me to tell you with all politeness, your coming is wasted. There may be a place for you loving our pastor. But you can't get to where he is. Just like the rich man couldn't get to where Abraham and Lazarus was. Except you are born again. Let me request all of us please in honor of Jesus. Let's bow our heads. Somebody is saying, Pastor please pray for me. I understand what you have said. I want to give my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you. I know the spirit of God is talking to you now. You can doubt it because you know it in your heart. I want to be born again. I want to give my life to Jesus. Let me ask you to just lift up your right hand so I can pray with you. I don't want to miss this and I don't want you to miss it. Wherever you are, on the gallery, on the ground floor here, in between, I want to give my life to Jesus. If you raise your hand, please stand to your feet, signifying that you are standing for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. If you are doing that, God bless you. And if you do, the officials will check on you, share some thoughts with you. Those who may have risen, pray this prayer with me very simple. Say with me, Lord Jesus, please have mercy on me. I know I'm a sinner. I want to surrender my life to you. I want to be born again. I want to make heaven. I don't want to miss eternity. Give me new life. Give me your joy and peace. Give me your salvation. Write my name in the book of life. And at your second coming, I will not miss heaven. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this morning. Let me ask you to please, everybody, rise to your feet. And let's give thanks to God. And I'd like you to pray. Lord, give me the order of testimony with good name. With good character. With good works. That I will leave behind when my time is up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. And all the saints of God in the house, please say a loud amen. amen. Give God a big hand, please. And please be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you so very much, sir, for those wonderful words of wisdom. Hallelujah. We're going to be privileged to watch a short video, and thereafter, there will be a special song rendition by our songtress, Pastor Mrs. Tolu Utukoya. First we'll watch a video, then Pastor Tolu will come up and give a special song, and thereafter the choir will take us through two renditions. Thank you very much. The video.
Hallelujah. I'm not sure what has happened to the video, but you can watch it in the spirit. My dear sister, are you ready for us? Hallelujah. Please put your hands together for Pastor Tony. It's a simple song of how I believe my father lived. change the key. I've lost my voice. Stop pressing the piano. He loved you, Lord, for your mercy never failed him. All his days he was wrapped in your hand. From the moment that he woke To when he laid his head Oh, he sang Of the goodness of God He knew your voice Oh, you held him through the fire In darkest nights You were close like no other He knew you as a father He knew you as a friend Oh, he lived in the goodness of God All his life you were so faithful So, so good With every breath that he was able Oh, he said Of the goodness of God Your goodness kept running after It kept running after him your goodness kept running out, kept running after him. With his life laid down, he surrendered all. He gave you everything. Your goodness kept running out, kept running after him. Your goodness kept running out, kept running after Your goodness kept running out, kept running after him. With his life laid down, he surrendered all. He gave you everything. Your goodness kept running out, kept running after him. All his life you were so faithful. All his life, Lord, you were so, so good. With every breath that he was able, oh, he said, of the goodness of God. Hallelujah.
I hope you will never forget that there is a pastor in Fountain. His name is not Tyro. Tyro is a delegated authority. The pastor of Fountain is the Holy Spirit. I hope you know that. There is nothing you get from God that is not made manifest only by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, yes, and he releases it. He executes the promise, but he leaves it for the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. And that's why we are very confident. Did you hear me say it? We are very, very confident of the ministry and the person and the power of the Holy Of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Take your place. And please let me remind him. Say, so Holy Spirit, please remember you are the pastor of Fountain of Life Church. Say it again. Say it one more time. Settled. In Jesus' name.
Let's give God some praise this afternoon. Let someone shout a big hallelujah. No, that's not enough. Let's shout a bigger hallelujah. If Pastor Taiwo has touched your life, shout a bigger hallelujah. We give God praise. Hallelujah. You may please be seated. We're gradually getting to the close of this service. Just a few announcements before we close. First of all, we would like to thank everyone for your time, how you have been with us at this very difficult moment. The Bible says that though our hearts ache, we still have joy in our hearts. And we really, really thank you. It is so, so important to us. We are really glad in our hearts that you've made our time to be with us. Even before this time, thank you so much. I want you to appreciate everyone next to you. Just say thank you to them. Everyone sitting next to you, say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Would like to recognize a few people here this afternoon. Um, we are all very important because of time. We can't recognize everybody. But we know that you are with us and we know that you've contributed immensely to the success of this program. First of all, we'd like to thank our grandparents in the Lord. Honestly, when you know you have somebody, somebody who, who is behind you, thank you, Bishop Mike and Bishop Peace Okonho, for your tireless work, for always being there for us. We thank you so much. That was a fantastic word in time and in season by Bishop David Abioye. We will never forget name, character, and works. And please give our regards to uh, Bishop uh, Oedepo. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo, for taking out time to be with us. Our Excellency, Pastor Dolapo Shibajo, thank you. The Right Reverend Dr. Babatunde Abiodun Taiwo, the Secretary of Conference Methodist Church of Nigeria, thank you. Bishop Taiwo Adulakun, thank you. Pastor Wale Adifarasi, we thank you. Pastor and Mrs. Tony Rappu, we thank you. Our Reverend and Pastor Mrs. Yomi Oyiloye, the Assistant Geo of First Choir, we thank you for being with us. Our Commodore Olofimoye, former Governor of Ogun State, thank you for being with us. Um, Pastor Additional, thank you for being with us. Pastor's very good friend, Pastor Claire Mesemoye, thank you for being with us. All the various pastors here that we can't mention, we know some of you are hiding in the crowd. We really love you and we thank you for your time, uh, for being with us at this time. God will bless you. We can see the delegation from Cannes, Lagos. God bless you for being with us. Thank you so much. And all the fountaineers, good, good, great fountaineers, applaud yourselves. Fountain is a great church. It's a great place to be. You are great guys. We love you. And, you know, the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. All the pastors of the Fountain of Life Church, everywhere, thank you. The choir, thank you for what you've done. The grace band, the ushers, the protocol, the different departments that you have served. God bless you. Real good. Um... Other announcements, the interment is private, so um, if you've not been invited, don't make your way there because you will not be allowed to come in. So, it's private. Then, um, there was a guard of honor when the body of pastor came into church. Uh, if you were that part of that guard of honor, we're still having a guard of honor for him. So, just before the recessional hymn, Please, um, you can please form the guard of honor. Um, the order of exit will be um, those who came in with a coughing would also be those who would go out. 
please stay in the service until um, the choir finishes uh, singing uh, the recessional hymn. Um, finally, the Thanksgiving service is tomorrow morning, Sunday, 10 a.m., one service. 10 a.m., one service. Uh, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Um, shall we rise for the recessional hymn? And just before, and as we rise for the recessional hymn, there was something pastor made part of every service. And I would want us to recite it just before we leave. And that is for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Just before we go, we're going to shout three wonderful hallelujahs and we know that God has done great things. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Just 30 seconds for the guard of honor to form before the, we have the recessional hymn. All right. Can we have the guard of honor? And we thank all those who were watching online. We see you. Thank you. Over 16,000 of you. God bless you. Please let the family go out before we start to leave.
bless the Lord. Hallelujah, and could finish from my mouth. Hallelujah, and could finish from my mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Praise the Lord, cannot finish from my talk. Oh. Hallelujah, and could finish from my mouth. Oh. Would you help me say it? He know go finish so in the name of Jesus Hallelujah finish the my mouth oh 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 Hallelujah let go finish Hallelujah let go finish Hallelujah let go Hallelujah let go finish Hallelujah let go finish What do you say Hallelujah let go finish Hallelujah Let's 
Lo wa o 